Okay, for question 21, uh, it is quite common for students to think that the uh, center of the reflected wave front is from C. But C is actually just the uh, boundary for reflection. You have to treat this like your light wave, like how you see things in the mirror. Okay, because light is a waveform, right? And uh, a water wave is also a wave. So actually the, the mechanism, the reflection mechanism is similar. So when you have the source of vibration here, okay, the reflected waveform actually comes from an imaginary uh, uh, center of uh, reflected waveform will be here. Now I do not have a compass with me now, but uh, what you can do is to convince yourself, just draw, uh, just draw from here. Put your compass here. Draw a slightly larger uh, semicircle here with your compass. Then, without changing the angle of the uh, compass, put the compass here. Draw. Draw the compass. Use your compass to draw another circle you realize that the waveform would look something like this very nicely okay and uh, this is to convince you that the uh, reflected waveform actually comes from this center here okay okay question 22 is another high level question now uh, you have to use a bit of uh, tri uh, geometry here so uh, I duplicated the model here. So what happened is that the eye level to the mirror is 50 cm. So this is how I get the 50 cm. This 60 cm is the mirror. Okay, so this 60 cm is the mirror. Okay, and I know that uh, the maximum uh, distance that I can see the fly would be whereby the light ray actually just nice bounce off from the edge okay meaning that I just imagine that the mirror kind of extend all the way up so I know that the fly is flying 30 cm above the mirror level meaning that the image of this fly will be 30 cm on this side so the light ray will be aligned to this line okay of course this is a imaginary line just for my uh, uh, construction only so I know that with this okay the light ray would bounce just at the edge of the mirror okay so with this you can see that this triangle and this triangle is actually a similar triangle right so once you know this triangle and this triangle and similar triangle you now need to find what is the distance from here to here so with that you know that 50 cm corresponds to 30 cm right so you can first form a ratio your 50 cm is to 30 cm must be equals to 60 cm is to your unknown here so let's call this d so uh, just press the calculator uh, you will get this is 36 now the tricky thing is even though you know that this is now your 36 your fly actually start flying from around this part whereby here to here to the edge of the mirror is 40 so what is the total distance the fly flies to this position will be 40 
plus 36 and that is how you get your answer P 76 okay if you have uh, still do not understand please remember to come to me and then I will explain to you okay uh, 23 is kind of giveaway what you need to know is that the reflect angle of reflection must be same as the angle of incidence so what I suggest to you is when you encounter this question draw the normal first once you draw the normal you won't be uh, confused by this uh, visual e uh, illusion okay so you can see uh, very clearly that only in D the angle here is equal to the angle here angle here equals to angle here okay okay question 24 tests you on your total internal reflection so they already tell you that uh, the critical angle is 42 so a lot of uh, common mistake is that student after seeing this 40 degree uh, quickly deduce that oh okay alternate angle so this angle is 40 degree and they take this as the incident angle for this uh, point but it is not okay the angle of incident for this point would be from the ray to the normal so in this case the angle of incident is 50 degree and definitely it is larger than your critical angle right so when the angle of incident is larger than critical angle total internal reflection will occur so the light ray will actually go to this path so p and q is out okay then uh, once you know that you have to determine is it s or r so like I always tell you, whenever the light cross between boundary, draw the normal first. So draw your normal. Okay. So uh, definitely the angle here would be less than your critical angle. If you are not convinced, go and work out uh, by trigonometry what is the angle here. Okay. But it is going to be smaller than your critical angle so uh, because the light is traveling from an optically denser medium to a less dense medium so it is going to bend away from the normal so that's right R is wrong and S is correct so your answer D okay question 25 uh, if you are not sure refer to the uh, textbook Okay, go and find the page where they have all the uh, the different object distance and uh, the image property and all that for your converging lens. And uh, basically what this uh, whole, whole passage is about is to tell you that f is actually equal to 20. So once you know what is the focal length, you can uh, check which statement is correct. So this one I'm not going to talk about it. Just go and refer to your textbook, okay?